The Skagit River Project is a series of three hydroelectric dams located in the Cascade Mountains, 120 miles northeast of Seattle. It consists of Gorge Dam, Diablo Dam, and Ross Dam. The first dam was completed in 1924, and the final was completed in 1940. Hundreds of workers were brought in by train during the mammoth construction efforts. The company towns of New Halem and Diablo still house the city light workers who maintain the three dams. Diablo is the largest city light town and exists solely to keep the electricity flowing. The Skagit River project produces 15 to 20 percent of Seattle's electrical energy. Dozens of city light workers reside and work in the mountains. They monitor the water levels of the rivers and artificial lakes, repair the turbines and other equipment in the dams, and fix any other problems that develop within the critical installations. The melting snow of the Cascades is channeled through the vast tunnels in order to propel the turbines. The electricity travels down from the mountains through a network of high-tension power lines. They extend out of the rural countryside and connect with the larger electrical grid. The network that brings this energy to Seattle is over 50 years old and is beginning to decay. Seattle's ever-increasing demand for energy has outpaced the ability of the workers to maintain this fragile and crucial infrastructure. There are 650 miles of cable that connects City Light's hydroelectric power plants to the metropolis and keeping them in optimal condition is a never-ending project. These high-tension power lines enter Seattle at various points. One of these main lines travels west through South Seattle. It passes over the foothills of the Cascades, through the suburbs of Renton, and across the Rainier Valley. After traveling through the Soto Industrial Area, these lines terminate at City Light South, receiving substation located along Industrial Way. From here, the energy is distributed along the city through the vast network of underground cables or wooden utility poles. Adjacent to the receiving station is the South Service Center, where part of the City Light Auto Fleet is stationed. These yellow trucks and vans carry the workers and their equipment to any portion of the network that requires repair. City Light employs 1,600 people. Every day they are troubleshooting, diagnosing, and remedying all disruptions to the distribution of electricity. More than anyone else, these men and women keep the city functioning. Without them, there is no refrigeration, no computers, no cell phone service, and no electric light. Without them, the metropolis would die. Every electrical worker employed by City Light is a member of the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers Union Local 77. If it so chose, this union could bring Seattle to its knees. The current 2012 City Light rates for a single residential house are 9.8 cents per kilowatt hour. The average single family house pays City Light over $1,000 a year in order to cook their food, warm their homes, and store their food. There is no one else to buy electricity from. City Light does not provide energy out of kindness. They're provided at a cost. Not only have people been made dependent on electricity, they must pay for it. <laughs>